Early one shining morning, Jeff, Ray, and Billy were reading the newspaper. The paper was written in the East, so none of them knew who wrote it. And most of its stories were not locally happening. Look at this, Billy said. A famous TV producer, after premiering his first feature film, just renewed his renowned TV series. Wow, but who's the guy, asked Jeff, and what's the show? I don't know. This is our problem, muttered Ray. We don't know Jack about this stuff because it happens in the East. We need a nearby resident to record our news. Someone like... You, suggested Jeff. After all, you started this ranting. That's a good idea, replied Ray. I'll create a newspaper. I'll sell it at a newsstand, and it'll be called Ray's Records Daily. I'm not sure, Ray, moaned Jeff. Are you sure you can write good stories? Of course, said Ray. Ray left, with ideas buzzing in his head. I meant clean stories, added Jeff. Think about it, Billy. Ray always spreads rumors about people, whether he likes them or not. It's bad enough that he tells people, but imagine the pandemonium when he publishes it. I need to go lie down, sighed Billy. Ray had his first issue ready by tomorrow. Everyone bought a copy. First, they just read it. Then, one at a time, they would shout, Hey! Everyone else would giggle as that happened. Jeff and Billy rushed over to see what was going on. How's Ray's records daily? asked Jeff. Dreadful! cried Timmy. I don't sleep with a stuffed penguin, added Tommy. Well, that part's true, groaned Timmy, but the rest is a load of fibs. He sang in his paper that Tommy and I were conjoined, that Corey and his family are aliens, that Mac is actually younger than Mike, and that Mike created Mac using his own DNA, and even a few stories about you guys. Jeff instantly grabbed the copy and flipped through it. He soon gasped, and then ran up to Ray. I did not change my name three times, and Billy does not have a prosthetic arm. So his right arm is real? asked Ray. Ray, you're writing stories about us from your imagination. That's what a tabloid writer does. You're writing a newspaper, which people rely on for factual news. You've made a mistake. And he did. Ray felt terrible. But everyone's already read the first issue. I can't do anything about it, cried Ray. Yes, you can, replied Jeff. First, you can put an end to Ray's records daily. Next, you can tell them the truth. But what if they don't believe me? asked Ray. After all, if I lied before, they'll probably think I'm lying now. But they know each other, said Jeff. If you tell them that you made this all up, I know that they'll see it as the truth. Besides, I'm sure the ones you hurt will go to extremes to clear their names. Yeah, added Billy. I'll even try pulling off my arm to prove it's real. You're right, Jeff, agreed Ray, but I'll need to hurry. That's just what he did. He explained the truth, and the subjects of his lies stood as evidence. Afterwards, Ray took down his newsstand and tossed the issue away. Can you forgive me? asked Ray. I was acting like some double-crossing tabloid writer. Just acting like one? laughed Timmy. Okay, okay. But can you please forgive me? I'll put my typewriter away for good. We forgive you, said Jeff. But you can keep your newspaper and everything. I'm looking forward to some local and real news. Good, replied Ray, because as of tomorrow, that's what this town's getting.